from Proactive and I'm going to show you how to use the Snowflake feature creating the lesson. Once you have opened the Snowflake software, swipe the carousel until you reach the Tools page and then click on the Lessons icon to open. It may take a while to load and open. Here you can see all previous lessons that have been created and automatically saved. To create a new lesson, click here on the Create New Lesson icon. This page shows the different options that can be used to create a lesson. For this tutorial, we are going to use the quiz lesson. I am going to create a lesson on capitals of the world. Firstly, I am going to name my lesson by typing in this text box. Then, I want to create a question, so click on the Create Question box here and enter my question. Now I want to add several answers, so enter my first answer in here. Each time I need a new answer box, I click here on Create Answer. As an extra feature, you can also add a background. Click on this background icon and the program will search the internet for a corresponding image to your answer. Click on the image you want to select. And now repeat the process for each answer. From here, I now need to drag all my answers underneath the question box like this. Use the small tab on the right hand side of the answer box to move them underneath. I am now going to repeat the process and add a second question. Again, I could add a background to each answer, but to save time, I will leave these answers blank. From here, I click on Manage Content. This is where I select the correct answer to each question. Simply click on the drop down box and select the answer you require. I can also change the font using this box. This allows me to change the size of the font. And this will change the colour. This will add a shadow which makes the font easier to read. I can also choose one of the many pre-drawn graphics as a background page. Let's go with Candy to start with. I could set a time if I wanted, and I can have the questions in the order I created them, or randomised. I will leave them as ordered for now, and I won't bother setting a timer. And that's it. We are now ready to play the activity. So this is the pre-designed graphic, and once finished we see our first question. Click or touch the card to see if you have answered the question correctly, like this. Ok, so, I'm not happy with the colour of the text as it's hard to see. At any point we can go to the menu by clicking on the snowflake in either of the bottom corners. Then select the back button. From here I can edit any of the components within the activity. So I'm going to change the colour of the text to black. And now I can return to the activity. If you want to skip the graphic, you can left click or tap the screen like this. And now, you can see the text is easier to read. Clicking the restart button starts the quiz again. I hope this has been helpful, 
and thank you for watching.